Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. This video is very special because I have, you know, spent two days preparing for this tutorial and I'm sure that you will not find this kind of tutorial anywhere on the internet. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can train a sentiment or text classification model using Hugging Face and the library supported by Hugging Face Transformers. It's very intuitive and very easy to use. You can train a model on your custom data set, save the model and you know serve the model anywhere you want. So let's get started. First, you need a data set. In this tutorial, I'm going to use IMDB data set for movie reviews but you can go to Kaggle or any source of your data set and download the data set. I will show you step by step how you can pre-process the data set for the model and train BERT based uncased model. Before we move forward, I would like to show you the code. The code used in this video is available on my GitHub and the link is in the description of the video. Also, I have created a readme file so you can you know read everything and follow the tutorial as well it takes too much efforts to create this type of material so if you find my work you know helpful please consider subscribing to my channel it helps now let's dive into the code section so i have a folder input in which i have dataset.csv which is the same downloaded from here. Now let's read the dataset.csv file and see what we have. We have two columns review and sentiment. Review is the review text of the movie and sentiment which is positive or negative. In this tutorial, I have chosen a binary text classification problem, but you can apply the same methodology to multi-class classification as well. Now, you know that for any NLP task, you need a tokenizer, which tokenizes the text into you know, tokens. So we will use transformers auto tokenizer and you can go here and search for transformer auto tokenizer so this is auto classes and under there we will have auto auto tokenizer oh i'm i'm not sure okay this is not loaded yet yeah this is auto tokenizer so you can read about more here and also we are going to use auto model as well so you can read all about the auto functionality of the transformer package here now let's import the auto tokenizer and create our tokenizer here and i'll use bert base uncased just a small reminder here whatever model you use please use the model name here for the auto tokenizer so that you don't run into any errors let me import this meanwhile let's now look at the function i have created to process the data so this will process the data uh, so i'll run over all the rows here and it has two things review and sentiment so what it does is i have not applied any pre-processing on text so you can apply any kind of pre-processing on text here. So it will first get the review in a variable called text, then creates the encodings. I have used max length equals to 128 since, you know, I'm just showing the demonstration here, but you can use 512 for better accuracy. And I have also used padding over the max length. So any tokens which is less than 128, it will apply padding there. Also, what I have done here 
is that converted the sentiments into zero or one for positive it's one for negative it's zero now what i do is i insert two new keys into the encodings now this tokenizer will return a dictionary i'll show you but this tokenizer will return a dictionary and i'll insert two new keys into that dictionary label and text so let me run this and let's look at one of the sample this is just a sample text and sample sentiment so it provides a dictionary it has input ids token type ids attention mask label and text so these five things are required when you train a bird based uncased model so let's say you want to train another or different model what you need to do is you need to pre-process the data in a way that is accepted by that model now let's pre-process the data so there are many ways you can you know provide the data to the model at this point what i am doing is loading all the data on my memory and then passing it to model but i'll show you in a while that you can use pytorch data loader in order to provide data on the go while the model trains itself and for demonstration purpose i have used just 100 sample from the 15000 uh, samples of the original data set so let me pre process the data so what i do is that i create a list of dictionary for 100 samples now let me just create a new data frame from the process data and then split it into training and validation data frame now we are going to create a data set accepted by the model but if you go to the trainer this is the trainer we are going to use if you go to the trainer itself this trainer accepts training data set and evaluation data set both are torch utils data data set so you can go to let me go to torch you can see torch utils has a data and has a data loader so here here when we train the model okay this is training data set and evaluation data set you can provide your training data loader and valid data loader here using this pytorch functionality but for demonstration purpose i am using a shortcut pi arrow and data set both are library developed by again hugging face so let me run this let's for just sake of understanding see the type of this data set we have created you can see it's data set arrow data set and data set so this is again accepted by the model for training let me remove this now we will create a model again this auto model for sequence classification as i have shown again previously you can read more about it here okay there are different uh, uh, auto models and we have used auto model for oh i'm not sure i can get it auto model for uh, sequence yeah sequence classification so we have used oh no not this flex i'm sorry i did not get it clearly oh let me okay we have used oh not this we have yo okay 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 we go i got it we have sorry for this 
uh, we have used this auto model for sequence classification and you can use the method from pre-team to get the model it has one argument number of labels i have provided it here so let me create the model now the trainer and training arguments so the trainer is a wrapper which creates a model trains and evaluates the model this trainer requires training arguments and there are much to explore on this training arguments but for simplicity i have used this output directory which is result and it is default as well but just to show you that when i will run this it will create a results folder and save all the logs there and i have used evaluation strategy to epochs otherwise the evaluation strategy is you know uh, is you know uh, calculated by this trainer uh, based on the problem you have so let me run this as well now i will use trainer dot train to train the model you can see it has calculated total optimization step 30 gradient accumulation step and everything and it will run for three epochs so let me come back once the model training is finished as you can see the training of the model is completed now and you can see the logs here as well uh, training logs training logs and evaluation log now we can see the evaluation as well here on the final model you can see all the details like loss runtime everything now there is a small note here that if you have a fairly large data set and you want to train longer for better accuracy you can always use google collaboratory and use its free gpu just copy paste this notebook on google collab and provide the data set now let's save the model and obviously on google collab you save the model and download the model on your local system and do you know serve the model using anything like flask uh, and uh, python uh, web application or you can export that to mobile device and use it as well so let me save this pre-trained model you can see under the model directory it has created two file config.json and pytorch underscore model dot bin so these are the weights and this is the configuration of the model now let's load the model so again we are going to use the auto model for sequence classification you don't have to import it here but i have just used it so we will create a new model and we need to provide the path where both config.json and this bin file so it has loaded the model and you can see that all weights of the model were in its light now we need the tokenizer as well so i will create the tokenizer while it's get imported i have created a function get prediction what it does is it gets a text and creates encoding gets the output from model by passing the encoding uh, and process the output of the model uh, pass it to the sigmoid function and gets the prob probability and then you know get the argument of the max argument from the probability and if the label is one it just returns sentiment positive and the probability and if the label is zero it just sends 
negative sentiment and the probability for the classification so yeah tokenizer is initialized so let me run this and let's try this okay you can see the sentiment is negative and the probability i am sure that you understand the reason behind the low probability uh, let's try something positive as well oh <laughs> it did not understand it but that's a different matter i hope you have gained some knowledge from this video and again the code used in this video is available on my github and the link for that repository is in the description of this video it takes huge amount of effort to create this type of material and video so if you like my work please subscribe to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace